So if you ever wondered where all of the Founders Edition GPUs are going, this is part of it. Um, this is a pretty fresh repo with recent commits. It's called NVIDIA Sniper. Um, and it's a bot that helps them buy Founders Edition GPUs as soon as they become available. So they're monitoring the availability on NVIDIA.com. They're automatically checking out the item as PayPal or as guests with a credit card. They're submitting the order and supporting multiple locales, multiple GPUs. And apparently this is a video on how it works. So down here is the code. And I believe it's launching all these browsers here. Um, I think that's what's happening. So anyway, this is pretty interesting. Uh, somebody has automated snapping up these GPUs um, as soon as they show up at any of these places. And uh, no wonder nobody else can get them. They're even solving the CAPTCHA in here. So you just need Python, Firefox, Brew. A Mac would be preferable, but you could do it on Windows. This is how you install it. And the bot is equipped with the ability to resolve simple recapture on its own without the use of a third-party recapture solver. Isn't that funny too? Capture was supposed to solve this whole problem of bots. Not only are there third-party solvers out there, um, you can simply write code that resolves the simple recaptures very easily, yet we find recaptures all the time, so they're completely useless things and really a pain when you have to have match pictures and you get the match correct and it still says that you didn't, that kind of thing. Um, so anyway, you can in, in, install that uh, extension, um, set up your API key, and then this is how you use it. You go to the directory, you run it, um, use Firefox and uh, log into Google. And I'd be a little bit hesitant of logging into your Gmail account because I'm not sure what they're able to see with this code. But if anything, you could uh, try this with a burner account. But again, you have to input your credit card and everything. So don't know uh, how, how you might want to do that. But this seems to be uh, relevant and, and legit and current. Here's a uh, issue opened nine days ago about a SKU for 3070 um, and they're commenting back or people are commenting so let's see if the author is commenting here at all uh, let's see which one has the most uh, this one apparently does so yeah not much comment from the authors here but there's PRs on it um, so yeah all the video cards I didn't even realize till today that there are bots out there that are snapping them up before the general public can even get their hands on them. So I think this will all chill out once um, mining becomes less profitable because everybody's buying this for mining. They're not buying it for gaming. I mean, some of that is built into it, but the mining farms are buying them and reselling them for three times, sometimes four times MSRP. Um, so yeah, of course you'd want to try to get one as soon as you could if you're a reseller and you can sell it for 3x or 4x, that's what you're going to do. Or sell it to a farm that's maybe willing to pay 2x when they know they can, they've already got their farm paid off, all they got to do is add more cards and have them paid off in days. Um, some cases probably hours. So it's a race to the bottom while there is a race to the top is kind of what's going on right now. So. Once uh, Ethereum mining settles down with the IP1559, I think we're going to see a shift here. Um, and once uh, COVID is behind us and manufacturing resumes, I think we're going to see a shift here as well. But anyway, thought this was interesting, and uh, thanks for watching.